So I don't even have a clue how the hell I'm meant to introduce this video. I just want to welcome you all to Rayman Origins, all you handsome bastards and classy ladies. This isn't exactly the beginning of a new series, this is just a once-off video, um, kind of like what I did with Dead Rising. It was just, it's just a once-off, just to see how it goes, what you guys think. The reason why I want to bring Rayman Origins to you is because Rayman, this game, it kind of represents everything that I love in video games. It represents everything that I think should be in a video game, and that is just simple, creative fun. Because uh, a lot of people take video games too seriously these days, they talk about being the best at it and whatnot, you know, but no, nah, no, nah, that's not what video games are about, it's not about that, it's about just having simple fun. So I just want you to sit back, relax, throw your feet up and enjoy. This game is incredibly gorgeous to look at, at the very least. Um, it's kind of like hand-drawn levels and uh, it, it, it's it's just brilliant and I hope you guys enjoy it. So yeah, I'm going to get things going. I got my cup of tea ready. I recommend you do the same. Get a hot drink of choice and, and just enjoy. Let me keep you company for a bit. I'm not gonna lie, I actually had to edit out me laughing. Uh, well, I, I, I didn't do it yet, but when I'm, when I'm editing this video, I'm definitely gonna have to edit out me laughing, because that thing, it, it got to me, it got to me. They got some funky beats going on as well when they're kicking the shit out of each other, didn't they? I'm gonna yank in this guy's beard. Ah, there we go. Hey, you slap happy hero. Looks like the old master is blowing bubbles again. Gone completely kooky. <laughs> he just pulled his own head off. Gonna take lots of electoons, big smiley face, to fix him this time. Yeah, it's gonna swing from the guy's beard. That that ought to fix him right up. So if you hadn't already noticed, if you hadn't already cobbled this together, this game is nuts. It's insane. Um, really pretty loading screen though. Gotta say. Uh, so this game is absolutely insane. Here's how insane it is. You know the guy with the pipe who was um gibberish jungle. Nice. The guy with the pipe who's uh, dreaming, uh, crazy old man-ish looking guy. He um he's called Bubble Dreamer, and uh, basically what he does is he he dreams the entire world into existence uh, by dreaming. So he kind of created the world and everyone in it by his dreams. And what happens is the bad guys get created when he has nightmares, which generates the bad guys, and it affects the world around him and makes it all dark. <laughs> that is how insane this game is. Let me out. All right. Your clothes are just skimpy enough to make you worth rescuing. <laughs> you must be this slutty to be rescued by Rayman. Uh, but if you're looking for a, a game that is just good, friendly, brilliant... Ah! My looms! My looms! Ah. A lot of people call those things lums because it's spelled L-U-M-S. If you're a true Rayman fan, you'll know they're called looms. Oh, it's one of those coins from Pirates of the Caribbean. Ah, what are they called again? Yeah, I think we're just called Cursed Gold. Of oh, Cortez. That was the guy. Alley up and a double and a trip. Oh, I wanted to go for a triple. Alas, it was not to be. 
But if you are looking for a game that's just good, wholesome, family-friendly, platforming fun, this is the game you want. I like that. Oh shit! I missed some looms. Not what I intended to have happen. Oh look! It's like the giant stone guy has pimples. Did I piss him off? Oh, <laughs> he was building up to something big. All right then, let's go save our lady for our lady friend. I got you, my lady. I can't believe it took a... Uh, if, if you ever played Rayman, he's got this punch attack, but I can't believe it took a slutty fairy to tell him how to punch things. <laughs> my kind of world, people. This is my kind of world. <laughs> oh, hang on. Wind it up and knock it down. We are literally knocking this guy's teeth out. Yep. Hurrah! There we go. Uh, I, I recommend it. If you're at all a fan of platform games, then this is... you will love this. Um, it's brilliant fun in one player. I actually played the two player with um, with Jess, uh, with my fiance, and it is so much more fun if you can get another person with you. Line it up. Oh, <laughs> beating the crap out of the loom. I got you, buddy. Hooah! Hooah! There's a little eyeball. I'm gonna punch him right in the eyeball. <laughs> I feel like a bit of an eyeball. Uh, an eyeball? I feel like a bit of an asshole. Actually, can I punch him again? Let's see if I can punch it again. No, I can't. Alright, I was gonna say I feel like an asshole, but I was like, what would have made me truly an asshole if I, is if I punched him again for no reason. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. There we go. I like how you can use the environment to kill things as well. It's always great fun. Uh, but I hope you guys are enjoying this. It is probably one of the prettiest games that I've had on my channel. Like, I know Bioshock Infinite has amazing graphics. I've had some other games that have had pretty great graphics on them as well, but... I think this game is... Oh, that is badass. But I think this game is um, one of the prettiest. It's just, it's got these hand-drawn graphics that are just so pretty to look at. Plus you get to punch these guys in the face. Hoorah! Like so, like so, save Ray. Oh, hang on, there we go. <laughs> I love getting the king looms. I love when they get all festive. Oh. Oh, he didn't stand a chance. Ah, I want that gold coin. We need, to, we need to get all of the gold coins back to the treasure chest to lift the curse. <laughs> oh, my ass! Oh, my ass cheeks. Small price to pay for a gold coin, people. I've got two ass cheeks. I reckon I could go for a nice double. Oh, and I was right. There we go. Oh, he's got a rocket handgun. Actually, it's a he. He also, has that, he also has that giant eyeball, perfect for taking careful aim. Although he's a bit limited in his targeting, he can only aim for that one. <laughs> he can only aim at exactly across from him. Oh, but he's hitting the thing. I see what's happening there. Oh, oh so he can deactivate that. You father mucker. <laughs> Alright. I like this little festive music. Arriba! We got ourselves some electoons. <laughs> Why not? Some victory crotch thrusting for you right there. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had crotch thrusting in a video before. That you guys know of. For all you know, when I beat Adam McIntyre in Dead Rising, I was crotch thrusting the hell <laughs> out of my bedroom. But yeah, I wanted to play this because I've been doing a lot of Bioshock Infinite, and uh, I've actually been doing quite a lot of heavy games on my chat. Oh, I got the gold. I got the medal. Look at him, busting his funky moves. <laughs> right, can I? And away I go. Uh, but I really wanted to do this just as something completely different, you know. There's over 60 levels as well in this game, by the way. So if I do decide, if you want to see a whole series of it, then um, it'll be in it. We'll be in it for the long haul. Guys are blowout. Sounds good. Sounds good to me. Um, so it could be a very long series because I will want to do everything. Uh, this is one of those games. I don't get hooked on a game. All that easily. Like there are games that I love and I love playing, but I don't get hooked. Ooh, Ma magic hat. Amazing fellows are looms packed with energy. Now, if you're sitting there thinking, "Oh, for God's sake, true iron," yeah, Christian. If you if you want to call me by my name, I like to be on a first name basis with you guys. But if you're thinking, "For God's sake, it's pronounced lums," it's not. It's pronounced looms, as in illuminate. 
Trust me. Uh, I'm a Rayman fan. I know these things. I know these things. I know my stuffs. I've done my homework. Uh, oh, there we go. There we go. All good, all good. I've actually, I remember playing the, uh, oh wow, swinging a miss. I remember playing the first Rayman game back on the, uh, I don't know if it was the first Rayman game ever made, but it was the first Rayman game as far as I know on the PlayStation 1. And uh, I loved it. There used to be these piranha enemies that you could um, that you could wall off the absolute crap out. Of, but when you punch them, you knock their teeth out. And uh, I'm telling you, nothing. I love punching that eyeball. Uh, nothing is more actually asshole move. For no reason. For no reason. I'm just an angry person. Oh, King Loom. King Loom. King Loom. King Loom. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Wanted to get my King Loom. Here. Um, but yeah, the, these piranha guys, they were just so satisfying to punch because if you were having a bad day, if you were in a bad mood, if you wound up your punch and you socked them one, you, you literally, you knocked their teeth out. <laughs> and uh, it was great. It was great. <laughs> if you were frustrated, uh, actually I was only a child around the days of the PlayStation 1. Here's how, like I'm not that old, but I feel it because the first, um, the first console, the first games console that I ever owned was the, um, Oh, I missed my King Loom. It was uh, the Sega Mega Drive was the first console that I ever had. Uh, so I feel quite old now that we're like talking about the PlayStation 4 and stuff, you know? <laughs> I feel like a little, I'm a little long in the tooth, to say the least. Hang on, I want to see if there's anything like secret down here that I can get. No! No, there's just instant death. Instant death is all that awaits down there. Huh, found me a hidden door. <laughs> in basketball with the Loom. There's one. Actually, you know, it's probably a fun way to kill these guys. Bring them down to my level. Hoorah! Ugh. <laughs> they were, that was oddly satisfying to punch them. Hop, hop, hop! My lectoons! Hang in there, my pretties! I gotcha! Uh, I'm telling you guys, I'm sitting here with a big old smile. Oh, some more crotch thrusting. Why not? Um. I'm just sitting here with a big old smile on my face. Oh, I love this game. Games like this, games will make me smile the way Rayman Origins does, you know? There's not every game does this to me. Ow. It spiked me. Oh. I was actually spiked once before. Ah, uh, oh, it's on permanent lockdown. Uh, it was back when I used to drink. Uh, back when I first turned 18. I, I, I've always hated clubs, even back then, but I used to go to them just because... It's what my friends did, you know, it's what the cool kids did, but uh, some guy actually tried to spike one of the girls in my group of friends that we were with. Uh, only I was unfortunate enough to um, to drink it. So yeah, that was a guy who was spiked. <laughs> I was almost date raped. Fortunately, I didn't, but <laughs> I wasn't, to the best of my knowledge. But no, I wasn't, but man, I felt like shit that entire night and the following day. I just, I was in bad shape. But um... I'm gonna give a message, if you're watching this and you're the kind of person who likes to, uh, to spike people's drinks in clubs, you, my friend, are one of the biggest assholes known to this world. <laughs> Don't spike other people. <laughs> it's just not cool. It really isn't. You got myself a coin. How did I get onto that topic? Oh yeah, I got spiked by the dark too. Okay. I was just wondering, like, how did I tell you guys that I was spiked? <laughs> but, uh, yeah. It's a good thing that I don't drink anymore, though. It makes me entirely spike-proof, unless someone wants to spike my Coca-Cola. But uh, it's always tough to tell if, you import, if I've been spiked by Coca-Cola because chances are I'm actually just very hyper. <laughs> I never did outgrow the whole getting excited on sugar rush thing. <laughs> Alright. Gonna get my looms. There we go. And there we go. <laughs> tell the other Dark Toons what you saw. <laughs> oh, lots of spikes. These things, to the best of my knowledge, cannot be killed. But they can be used to your advantage to kill other enemies. Ah! Ah! And me! And me! I got very silly. That's all that happened there. <laughs> I just got very silly. I forgot to reactivate that thing. Ah, I wanted to give him another punch. You get a loom. You get an extra loom if you punch him one more time after killing them. So it's always worth doing. I'll wind it up and I'll save my buddies. I got two. I kind of feel like I've done a hell of a lot more in this level, I don't know. Like, this video is probably only going to be about 20 minutes in length, maybe. <laughs> I was like to wind it up for this guy. 
Uh, this video is probably only gonna be about 20 minutes in length. I just wanted to upload something because I'm an asshole. I just wanted to upload something a little bit different before I got back to Bioshock Infinite. Uh, which, by the way, don't touch me. Which, by the way, is oh my god, I'm gonna get killed. Uh, oh boy. Oh, we did it. Uh, which, by the way, is also another brilliant game that is um, that is entirely worth your money. If you're at all uh, interested, if you're at all considering buying it, trust me, it is worth the money. Oh boy. Ah, spiked! No! Uh, Bioshock Infinite and Rayman Origins. Those are kind of the two games that I'm recommending you buy these days. I also recommend buying Hitman Absolution. I've been doing a lot of Hitman Absolution lately. Uh, I think it could actually make a very good series as well. Timed it wrong! Ah. Ah. Oh, oh, death! Death! Instant cartoony death! Uh, but I've been doing a lot of Hitman Absolution, and I actually think... What in the hell? All I did was press the X button, and he jumped backwards. And I think Hitman Absolution could actually be a very good, um... series to do on my channel, someday. Um, it's a great game, I love the Hitman games. I've played... I actually think I've played all of them, except for, um... the very first one that ever came out. But I think Hitman Contra... Oh, come on, you're shitting me! I think Hitman Contracts basically replays all of the um, the original game's uh, contracts. So technically, I guess I did play the first game. Um, but other than that, I played Hitman 2, Silent Assassin, cleared the game. Uh, played Hitman Contracts, played that game. Also played... Ugh, there we go, we got him. Also played uh, Hitman Blood Money, loved Hitman Blood Money. Hitman Blood Money is actually, in my opinion, the best one of the lot. Oh! There we go. Uh, Hitman Blood Money is by far the best. I think that was a high point of the series. Uh, Hitman Absolution is really, really good. It just, I have my issues with it. But it is a great game. I just can't walk away without punching him. He just, there's something about his eyeball that makes him very punchable. I like how when you pick up health as well, you got this little, this little heart that follows you. This little friend that keeps you safe. I'll kick him as they come. Nope. Free your guy. I think I'm gonna go for a little downward strike at the moment. Harley hoop! Alright, that's our last Electune guy saved. Now we just have to hope we hit enough looms after we crotch thrust, of course. Very important to celebrate life by crotch thrusting people. To get a full medallion, that'd be pretty sweet. Oh, no, we didn't get a full medallion. Shit! Well, we got a full medallion, but we didn't get the medal. We didn't get 350. A few looms did, unfortunately, elude me. They illumed me. That was an awful pun. I'm not apologizing for it. <laughs> but at least we got all the electunes. You get these guys, and if you get a certain mode, you unlock uh, a really tough chest. Uh, it's an extra mission that you gotta chase down a running chest. Uh, it is as bizarre as it sounds, but trust me, that chest can run like an Olympic athlete. He is a bastard to catch. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more, let me know. I will gladly upload more. Uh, until then. Yeah, we get our little smiley faces up there. New character unlocked in the snoring tree. Alright, so that little unlocked level up there. I think we need 25. Yeah, you need 25 looms. Or not looms, sorry, electunes to unlock that. <laughs> looms and electunes, very different things, people. Get that right. Uh, punching plateau. Sounds delightful. But if you want to see more of this, then let me know. I just wanted to do it to be different. Um, it might just be a once-off video. It might be more. We don't know. But, um... I'm going to go play some more Bioshock Infinite because I know for a fact that there's a lot of people who want to see more of that. So thank you all for watching and um, I'll see you all in my next video. Take care.